Okay, so fancy dress, everyone. This isn't quite a Zeos Platinum, but it feels it because this is the M11, the Fio M11. It's the really beautiful looking, this is a leather case by DD Hi-Fi. Like it's just carbon fiber back and it's $450 and I love it. And this is the M11 Pro. And I need to work out why. I've figured out why. I think I know all the points. I'm sure I'm gonna miss one and someone's gonna correct me in the comments. But I need to work out why you'd spend an extra $200 to get essentially the exact same player, only, and this is real quick, let's get it off, but only one micro SD card slot instead of two. This has two. This does have double the internal memory. This is 64, this only has 32, but that doesn't pay for one less 500, and actually it'll take two terabytes per card. And then, but here's the thing, here's the real thing, here's the big thing, here's the thing that why well, I would, oh my fucking god, it's THX! But is that worth it? In this particular case, is that worth it? There's also MQA, which the uh, Fio M11 Pro does and the M11 doesn't. So if you're one of those title people and you're like, I need MQA because it's the only thing that makes sense in my life, then you're spending 200 more dollars. You're getting, the real differences that I could work out from just fuck, bouncing between the two things on Amazon, because these are where all the squares live. Look where all the squares of knowledge live. They live here on Amazon, go back and forth and back and forth. And this one has, ooh, this one has dual AK4493 DAX. And this has dual AK4497 DAX. So I mean $200. They have the exact same processor. This one, the old one, only claimed to do uh, Wi-Fi, wait, no, that's the new one. This one, yeah, 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 the old one, only claimed to do Wi-Fi file transfer. And the Pro does DLNA, AirPlay, and Wi-Fi transfer. The batteries, I think, are the same. The, 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 everything else should be the same. So the, the, the difference is $200, $200. And it's not just like, oh, it's got THX. You're paying for more than that. You're paying for a slight DAC upgrade, which I can't hear. And these, by the way, are the Ironwoods. Link to the Ironwoods. They needed a pad swap. Now they're good. Um, so, okay, 450, 650. Remove one SD card slot, you sacrifice. You double the internal memory from 32 to 64. That'll help with apps, obviously, but you're not really, unless you're side loading apps, you're not really loading these things up with apps regardless. So, uh, ready for the future? Are you ready, for, just ready to stop watching this review even though YouTube definitely determines how long you've been watching it and based on that is how much they <clears throat> pay me for advertising revenue? But, um. This M11 Pro will be in the art sale, and the M11 will not be in the art sale. Even though I got both for free. Fio just sends them to me. Hey, you want to review this? Hey, you want to review this? Hey, you want to review this? I'm like, yeah, fucking course. Why are you even asking? But this one will be in the art sale. Because the M11 has two SD card slots. I can't hear a difference between the DACs. And the stock M11 is more powerful. Now, all this is irrelevant if you've been watching my channel because the BTR5 is here and it's the best sounding thing of all of them. And I've also brought out the uh, the Q5, which is their dedicated Bluetooth, big bastard. And I managed to get hold of, again, Fio managed to procure me one, the THX AM 3D module for the bottom of it. So if this is 350 and then the module is like 150, that's $500 to make a THX thing, which I haven't hooked that up yet. I'm gonna probably give a small re-review. Or 650 for it with the screen. Like, you know if you want, here's the thing. You know if you wanna just whip out your phone and have the player on your phone and then have your phone be the thing that's dealing with Bluetooth. So this whole, this is like phone gang over here. 
you know if you want a dedicated music player. Now I have another more expensive, twice the cost of this one, dedicated music player sitting over there waiting to be reviewed, the Paw 6000, which I love because the name is the Paw 6000. Um, and that'll come up. So what do you want? Is Do I personally, me, Zeus, hi, I'm Zeus, personally me, don't think it's worth the extra 200 bucks. And I've sat here, similar songs, same songs, back and forth. I only have like 10 songs that are shared on this devices. And I'm just plugging in with my little two and a half millimeter adapter onto this beautiful Viking weave cable to those ironwoods. And I'm just like, huh? 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 And you're asking why two and a half? It's because I'm occasionally going, huh? Huh? Ha 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 ha. So, go watch my review. Here, you ready? I'll make this review real short. This is my Christmas gift to you. Maybe I'll release this Christmas day. I don't know. But my gift to you is, go in the description and you'll see the review of the FIO M11. Take everything I said in that, apply it to this, and then also just 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 know that you're one less micro SD card slot, and it's not as power. Here's the thing about cleanliness and THX. I am a fucking THX whore. I'll do anything for THX sound. Give it to me. Give me. I have three seven eight nines. I have two SP two hundreds. I've got the portable. I've got now the module for the for the uh, Q five S. But in a short period of time, THX has been a thing. 10 months, 11 months now, I think, since the 789 landed and destroyed the world. A lot of companies have just like went, oh, is that what you want? I don't prefer the sound of the M11 Pro over the M11. It, it doesn't ring any, it doesn't ring any bells. That's like, oh, there's what I've been waiting for. And I, frankly, when I plug this in with the THX module, I'm going to have to really seriously sit there and listen to it for a while because this sounds fucking great and is super powerful and has all the connections I'd need. So is THX that important anymore? I think the only place you're going to find the real need need for portable THX. See, portable THX was supposed to deliver like lo lots of power, but I could prove from the gain settings and volume settings, um, the, currently these three units are pretty much perfectly level matched. The original M11, hi, original M11. Did you freeze? No, you didn't freeze. Wake up then. Wake up. Okay, thank you. There it is. Oh, it's weird. Low gain, we are on 100 out of 120 on low gain. To get the same volume out of the THX module, we are on high gain, 97. So already more powerful straight up. And then the hilarious thing is when I used a little BTR5, and I'm still talking about the Ironwoods. Uh, we're on low gain on this at uh, 50 out of 60. So fuck, fuck this thing, this thing, link to this thing. Um, so you're not getting THX for power anymore, especially portable. So it's it's like a, it's less. It's just less. It it might be a little bit more efficient, like as far as it can get the same volume levels if you do a higher gain, but it's drawing less. But I, it's not going to be enough of a, of a change to like say, oh, it's tripling my battery life. It's not doing that. What it is going to still do, and I don't have little IEMs here. If you have super hyper duper sensitive IEMs or, or you know, Andromeda's or something, you might notice a slight difference in the noise floor between a non-THX VO and a THX VO. That, that's it. That's it. I'm not, it's not like this is like, oh, it's a warm and soft player where it dulls the low end and then the highs are a little bit off. There's nothing wrong with the way this sounds. There's nothing wrong with the way this sounds. 
There's nothing wrong with the way this sounds, although I swear to cr I swear on Christmas that the Fio BTR5 has... Maybe this is fucking the sound up the most, all right? I'll admit that. I Maybe it, it does a little bit, but it's not like there's a bass boost or something. I just prefer the way the BTR5 sounds to both of these. Now, that's not going to suit your needs if you actually need a port. That's why I'm keeping this. I want two... I think I have two 400 gig SD cards in this. That's 800 gigs of my flack on this. I pick it up, I go somewhere, and I'm good. On my phone, yeah, I have like a 512 in there, but that ain't 800. And plus it's my phone. I don't want it to be dicking around with music while I'm trying to write emails and anything else I'm doing on my phone. There's reasons for dedicated music players. You know if you want one, you know if you came here why you want one, and yet I'm just getting you the answer. I'm getting you the answer of, do I want the Pro, or do I not? Do you want MQA? Then you want the Pro. Do you need MQA? I still haven't sat down and AB'd MQA, and then not a normal track. I want to record MQA to like a WAV file and then play that back and see if I could tell the difference, because then it's not a fucking format thing, and then it's a mastering thing. That will come at some point. I need pretty much DMS here. We're going to set up some equipment to do that. If you need more side-loaded apps, if you need MQA, if you want THX for very, very super sensitive IEMs, then you need the M11 Pro. Otherwise, Jesus Christ, those Echo Studios are loud. Um, otherwise, I would still get the regular M11. Just get the regular M11. And if you're looking for like absolutely portable, things are arriving. If you're looking for absolutely portable music, where is it? It's over here somewhere. feel like one of those things that does this well somewhere over here is a um fio m6 it's like a little tiny thing like that's p perfectly fine for just i need to have music on the go i'm not using you know ironwoods or mmx 300s i brought these out just so i can link them in the description because everybody needs to know that these are audiophile headphones these headphones and the zmf pads in the description zios the zmf choice choice leather which is not real leather but oh so so i mean i've had this here for like four weeks now and i'm just like using it and it's like well there's i have half the music in flack that i want i'm not really i don't pay for title i'm not a title streamer if you're up there with cuba quobas can you even side loads quobas onto this i i didn't check because then you have full access to like dsd stuff but again, are you DSDing on the go? It's really, it comes down to me yelling at people who are trying to get maximum fidelity. Where? Here in my office, at my desk there, or here, right here, I want maximum fidelity. But if I'm walking through a mall, or sitting in the backseat of someone's car, or maybe I'm just hanging out at an office or someone's... I don't really need maximum fidelity. High fidelity will do. High fidelity will do. Am I wrong? How many of you are watching this and going, no, 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 Zeos. Every fucking microt of anything needs to be perfectly audible, even if I'm sitting in the gym waiting for the sauna room to, like, there's a line. There's a good enough line where you're like, okay, I'm on the move. I have to accept a slight discrepancy in quality that I could attain. That's why Spotify, that's why I pay for Spotify Premium. Spotify Premium on high streaming is fine. Fine, F-I-N-E, four words, fine. This is fine. It's, is it more than I need? Yeah, yeah, a little bit more. It's a little bit too much. It's a little bit too much money. A little bit too much going for it. For what I need. For what I need. Me. I have personal needs. You have different needs than me. I need to put anime waifus in the backgrounds. Every video. I just need it. Because every once in a while, I'm sure one person in a video goes, Huh. Anime girls are kind of hot. And then I've made my quota for the day. I'm going to heaven because of that. Um, I just don't. I don't. I don't think people. If you're a normal person. 
you don't need that last 2.735% of the music. I'm a normal, I try to be a normal person. I don't want to be that asshole who's like, oh, <laughs> I will go and I will straighten your speakers out without your permission because you're down like 15%. But the last 2%, eh. MQA, eh. Again, in a home environment, fine. Push it to the limit. Push it to the limit. But these are very much portable things. These are very much things I'm wandering around when I'm shopping at Costco or Lowe's and I'm just pushing a shopping cart and I don't want to hear that fucking announcement. It's like, Jenny, could you please contact Tony? I just want, fuck off. Fuck off, I want to hear my music. And a lot of things that are lesser will be just fine for that. I love how we got into this tangent of just like, why, is he just hating on high quality music? No, I'm just drawing my line in the sand. I refuse to like have that bundle of stuff that I take with me. I've taken bundles before. I've got the little the little tube amp, the, the little little bear, and I've strapped that onto like something like this, and I've lined out into the tube, and then I've had my Neumanns, and I've gone out and it's like, whoa. And occasionally, I'll, I'll just walk outside. Literally, there's a bench right outside my window. And I will just sit 100 feet from my door with ridiculous expensive headphones and just enjoy it outside. If that's what you want, if you are that person, by all means, get the last 1%. But it's a very rare occurrence. I would not spend the money to do... I'm, most of this shit is just provided for me, so I get to judge it. Without, if you bought this this stuff and you were like, oh man, I spent I spent my whole paycheck on this. This must be the best thing ever. Maybe you're not the best person to judge that right now. This is just another thing that comes across my desk and I go, here's my thoughts, move along. So does the M11 Pro work? Absolutely. Does it do everything it says? Yes, except I don't run an MQA song, so I don't care. But the loss of a micro SD card is a little bit too much for me. And it doesn't gain anything in power. Like if it if it could rival this in power, oh shit, $200 is fucking worth it. This by the way is the X2O XD05 Plus. This son of a bitch has a watt per channel. This pushes argons. If I could portably push argons. Also the fact that it has a full quarter rate. I wish it was balanced, it's not, but that doesn't really matter when you could push a watt per channel. Like if you want portable power, boom. So it's not power, it's cleanliness. And, it's cl and then I go boom, smaller boom, $100 boom. I'm, I'm done. I just wanted to yell a bunch about this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I get passionate. I get passionate about food too. If you don't know I have a cooking channel, check that out. Um, link in the description. I'm done, and people are messaging me now, I don't know, is this... Uh, that wallpaper in the description. Uh, I now have a subscribe star, as well as a Patreon, and the tier benefits are the same. Uh, $5 tier, you get to see all these reviews early, you also get into the yard sale on either platform. Uh, so you could bid on things, like example, the M11 Pro. I'm going to put it back in its beautiful box. I'm going to take my micro SD card out because you're not allowed. Um, and you could bid on that for, I, it's $650. I got it for free. You bid $208.13 and you win and your content in the United States, I ship for free. You just saved $400. $418? Worth $5? Probably. From the 1st to the 10th, I ship free content in the United States. I half shipping international which is going to be interesting because i got to ship a pair of speakers to New Zealand. That's going to be fun. Um, yeah, and other things that I've either been given by companies or I've purchased myself with the money that I make from selling this, I buy other things that companies aren't selling me so that I could review. That's how this channel works. Um, so you get to see all those. You have to ask me questions on the platform. The $10 tiers, plural, you get into the private Telegram chat where there are currently 200 members. And those people basically know everything that's happening behind the scenes. They can influence anything if they say, hey, Zios, could you please check to see if this with that, but that wire works? And I'll do it for you because that's what you're paying me for. 
This has to become a job and I have to get paid for it. Wait till I get sponsors and I'm doing mid-roll ads. It's going to be terrifying. Um, so yeah, I'm going to link to a bunch of stuff. I'll link obviously the M11. Someone out there, this is your perfect thing. You need MQA, you need portability, you need a beautiful screen. I didn't even bother. You know how you could tell that something wasn't super interesting to me? Watch this. The M11 got the anime waifu. And the M11 Pro is on the stock background. You believe that shit? Oh, real quick. Uh, next track, last track, volume slider, play pause, power sleep, 4.4, 2.5, USB-C, line, coaxial out, 3.5 millimeter. The end. Anyway, check this out. Check out Hi-Fi Guides. I might create a, po a thread that's just the M11 and M11 Pro because they share so many things. I don't think I need to have two separate posts. Uh, yeah, the end. I'll uh, link to other stuff that's just more convenient and frankly, I think sounds somehow better. I don't know how, all right? If I knew how, if I could explain to you how I know that this sounds better than that, well, then I could just quit the game because I've already won. And wallpaper downloads. And I'll see you tomorrow.